teacher, Alex Cacciatani, a teacher at Mission Middle School in Escondido, will represent California in the National Teacher of the Year competition. And his style is a little different. 10 News anchor Hal Clements was in his classroom today. Did you learn a lot, Hal? How was it? I would say different's a fair description, Kimberly. We, we've all heard people say, oh, math is hard, math is boring. Not in Alex Cacciatani's class. He's not just a math teacher. He is the rapping mathematician. In it mini lesson, I'm sure. Now be honest, did you hear this in your eighth grade math class? The number line dance is my finest creation in every math class. It is sweeping the nation. You don't need Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Cacciatani, the rapping mathematician. TRM for short. The rapping mathematician was actually born out of desperate a desperate need to survive. He was a new teacher and struggling. He decided to write a rap song. He performed it. It didn't go well. And it was a complete disaster. Uh, I got totally laughed at. But then he heard his students and others doing his rap at lunch. And here it is, his first number one hit, the itty bitty dot about decimals. Now what in the world is that itty bitty dot? Yo, I just can't remember and it's making me distraught. Turns out the kids loved it. Test scores went up. TRM was born. When you add and subtract them, there must be a rule. So listen to my rhyme and use it as a tool. Um, he's so awesome. He's really fun. And how many math teachers have their own CDs? Here's volume one, The Rapid Mathematician, and volume two, Multiplication Nation. And they're used by educators all over the country. He says songs are a great memory tool, and he wants to make math relevant. When you get the real world relevance, into the math lesson, then uh, a whole new world opens up. Negative to the left, positive to the right. It's a number line dance. I could dance all night again. Negative math rap to can be tough. There are no easy rhymes for quadratic equation or Pythagorean theorem, but his students always expect more. It's not so much that they expect it, but they're very happy to tell me how bored they are when I'm not doing it. <laughs> and you just know all his students will cheer if he becomes National Teacher of the Year. No, I'll leave the wrapping to TRM. Line up the dot. I said, line up the dot. Come on, line up the dot. He says it is an incredible honor to represent California in the National Teacher of the Year competition, and he hopes it inspires more young people to become teachers. Oh, and TRM not only has CDs, he has a website. We have a link to that on 10news.com. Hal Clement. News. I love it. Positive to the right, negative to the left. It sticks with you. Nice. Oh, I didn't even remember that.